Islam says no compulsion in Islam. Well, it's in religion. Why killing those who leave Islam? Okay, that's a very logical question. Now, is killing others justifiable? This depends on where you're coming from. If you're a Muslim, you would say, yes, this is a prescribed punishment. If you're a Christian or a Jew, you know that this is an eye for an eye, a life for a life, etc. So, yeah, this is part of the divine religions. Now, we come to no compulsion in religion. No compulsion in religion means that there is no hardship in religion. Allah did not order us to do something that is beyond our ability. Allah did not order us to fly or to walk on the water. All the religion is easy for all human beings worldwide to practice and implement. This is what is meant by La ikraha fi din. There is no compulsion in religion. There is no hardship in religion. As for a penalty, when a person rapes your sister, tortures her, and kills her, if there is no compulsion in religion, would you advocate for the death penalty or not? Definitely you say yes. Those who go around and sell our children drugs and make them addicted to meth, to crack, to marijuana. These are people who spoil and corrupt the earth. Would you advocate in killing them because putting them in jail or fining them would only encourage them to engage more? The answer is yes. In religion, as a Muslim, Allah is the one who tells us to do or not to do. So for you guys in the West, freedom of speech is honored. In Islam, it is honored as well, but without with boundaries. When you come and say that it's part of my freedom of speech, to slander your mother, to say trash about your sister and daughter, we say, hey, wait, you will be flogged 80 lashes because this is not acceptable and not permissible in Islam. So in Islam, it is not up to you to embrace Islam and then apostatize because we have rules and regulations. You don't want to accept Islam from the beginning? Don't. Remain in your religion. But to come and accept Islam and then leave Islam. This is a crime that is the cardinal sin. This is something that has to be punishable in Islam to protect Islam and the Muslims. And throughout time, they are a negligible percentage, less than a percentage even, those who reject Islam with the grace of Allah. Look at the Muslims. The only country that may consider implementing execution for apostasy can be Saudi Arabia and Iran. Maybe, maybe. And this is, Allahu Alam, how it is implemented. Yet, the fastest growing religion in the world is Islam. What does this tell you? People in Indonesia, they can apostatize whenever they want. No one would tell them that this is wrong or will put you in jail. You change your religion to Christianity, whatever. No problem in that. So this should not be something that deters you from think thinking of the whole big picture. It's like someone saying, I hate violence and I hate cutting people up. So I'll not be a surgeon because I don't like blood. Look at the bigger picture, helping people, saving people's life, etc. And likewise in Islam, this is what we have to do. And I'm afraid that this brings us to the end 
of today's session.